Yo, what is <laughs> it's your boy, the Wolf of Crypto here, y'all. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey. <sighs> Where to start, folks? Where to start? The market has been on a absolute tear. It's been on a tear, folks, and this bull cycle that we're currently in, uh, it's got me, <laughs> it's got me constantly thinking, almost stressing, because there is literally so many different places where you could put your money and just make money. It's, it's outstanding. It's, it's really, it's really amazing. Um, but we gotta talk about the big bad boy itself. Bitcoin is almost at 50k. It hit a high of 48. And now, as we look at the overall market cap of $1.3 trillion, hello. It's crazy, man. It's, just, it's crazy to see the market cap in the trillions right now. But um, I got to say, I think the cat's out the bag now. Everybody and their mama's on crypto. Oh, my goodness. And I'm just looking at the market right now, and I'm just like, wow, I'm looking at all these different coins. I mean, I'm looking at Binance coin. Binance coin is $110. I had no idea. I had no idea. I almost had one of those. Uh, but Cardano, 70 cents. Dot, $22. Litecoin's close to that 200 mark. I've been waiting for Litecoin to get back to that 200 mark. But, oh gosh. Look at, uh, <laughs> look at Chainlink. Chainlink's almost at $30. Can't believe, I can't believe I'm going to say Doge is 7 cents. Doge is, folks, Doge is top 15. Stellar. Stellar's still doing this thing. A of Uniswap. EOS is finally taking off. Cosmos is doing crazy things there. Uh, I'm looking at the top 100 right now. And this is all looking through uh, livecoinwatch.com. And man, oh man, oh man. It's like where to where where to start? Like literally these last what previous weeks uh I would say man as far as trying to figure out like where to put your money because right now putting your money almost like i said in any any of the top 100 right now you're pretty much golden i mean nano is finally booming booming almost at five dollars uh this freaking matic what the heck matic network is up 50 percent and I'm just trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Obviously, right now, it is on a crazy tear. Crazy. It is on a crazy tear. Um, I'm looking at these last. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. I'm trying to comprehend these stats I'm looking at right now. Whew, y'all ready? Last 90 days, 526%. Last 30 days, 246%. Last 7 days, 163%. Oh my goodness. This thing has been on a crazy, crazy tear. Um, obviously, definitely got to buy me some. Just the whole, like, like I said, guys, right now, the way the market has been running, like I said, it's very bullish. It, these institutional institutions are just <laughs> they're they're looking they're starting to take this thing seriously uh and they're putting huge bags into the market i mean prime example elon musk puts 1.5 billion 1.5 billion this man got right, 1.5 billion on bitcoin i'm pretty sure you'll see the announcement Tesla's going to start accepting Bitcoin as a payment. So, yeah, you'll be able to go buy a Tesla with some Bitcoin. That's, trust me, it's coming. It is coming, folks. And I'm sorry because I'm trying to 
watch the market. I'm trading right now because right now it's just again. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> like, yo, it doesn't make sense right now. Uh, chain link. I got like a ooh. Mm, sorry again. Sorry. Oh man, I'm sorry. Uh, guys, I. You might understand this feeling if you know you're a trade investor or shoot man if you've been broke and you just starting to make some money it's it's a good feeling because these type of returns you, you don't get them anywhere else you, you really don't and um the fact that it's just like i said it's the whole market everything is running everything and the fact that now Apple's thinking about they might they might join they might join the game, folks. Apple said they might they might throw a bag into into Bitcoin. So now it's like now I think the next question, at least for me, is like, dude, how long does this bull market like this? How long does this bull run last? Like, because. Again, I remember the 2017, 2018 one. I mean, it was, it was, it was nice. It was, but it wasn't like, I feel like it wasn't like this. Uh, I mean, and like I said, there, again, there's still other coins that are not even closer to all time highs. They're still rising. I mean, I've been keeping my eye out on Neo. Uh, Cause again, that's, that's, a, that's another project that, as far as staking coins, I feel like those are I feel like those are all Mac winners. As far as if you're looking from a, a money perspective and you want your money to constantly be working, I mean you put it into those projects, your your money's working, you're gonna earn gas, you're gonna earn whatever that particular token is, especially if it's for V chain, the VTOR token, ontology, it's on it's O N G. So I'm just really Trying to figure out, man, like, uh, I'm trying to get them all. It's almost like right now, I feel like I'm playing Pokemon. You know, the catchphrase, you gotta catch them all. Because this is, I gotta collect them all. Because, again, I'm looking at these returns right now. And we're talking about minimums of anywhere from 5% and up. Think about that. Put that into perspective. Because, again, I think that's the most fun part is knowing that you can put your money right now into any of these top 100 coins and they're going to they're gonna make you some money. And some of these projects, that's another thing. Some of these projects that are still under a dollar, I feel like God tried to take advantage of those. I mean, because if I don't, I'm, I feel like I'm gonna miss out. Reason why I say that: Nexo, prime example. Nexo was under a dollar for so long, and now it's a dollar sixty-nine. It is a dollar sixty-nine. It cracked it. It's almost the top fifty, man. Nexo. Digibyte, five cents. Back, it's almost at fifty cents. Ontology's getting closer to that dollar. Icon looks like icons. Like I call those back at a dollar. I mean, I'm trying to see a coin again. See a coin top 100, still, still low. One cent, verge, two cent. Like, there's some projects out there, man. That I'm telling you right now, under a dollar. Gotta gotta pay attention because ZRX now ZRX is almost at two dollars, a dollar fifty four. That was under a dollar for a long time. Algo, I'm mad at myself. Algo ran was under a dollar for a long time. Now it's a dollar. I remember that thing was at forty four cents, fifty cents. Now now it's just taking off. Luna is taking off. I'm trying to figure out what Luna because I've been hearing a lot. Of, a lot of commotion about Luna. I'm just like, yo, what is what is Luna? But again, I 
it all comes back down to, man, am I getting returns? Am I making money? And that's the thing, man. Like, it's to a point now, I don't even have, like, uh, I'm looking at that job, like, jeez. Y'all see, y'all see what's going on with the market? It's to a point where I be at my job just watching the market, man. Like, this, this run, it, I feel like there's no indicator of when it's going to stop. Now we're talking about possible 50k Bitcoin here pretty soon. And some of them are thinking we're going to get to 100k by the end of the year. So I'm like, yo, yo, like, does this come to an end? Like, there's got to be. Or does this last longer? Because if it lasts the whole year, man, if we're bullish this whole year, whoa. I'm telling you right now, man, there'll be a lot of millionaires by the end of the year, if not by summer. Shoot, there probably are some right now. There's probably millionaires being created almost every day in the crypto market, let's just be honest. Again, these runs just... If you can kind of tell, I'm having a hard time taking this all in just for the fact that, man, where where to start? The market cap was under a trillion for, I think, at least a good couple of weeks. And then Bitcoin had took it off. And that's another thing. When you got these big time players like Elon Musk. Talking about Bitcoin, getting other celebs and big time influencers into the market. It's, it's, I feel like they creating a lot of FOMO. Uh, I mean, this dude has been pushing Dogecoin to the fact that Dogecoin is almost at 10 cents. Yes, I know Dogecoin has a strong community, but folks, Dogecoin is not even. That coin is really useless at the end of the day. I mean, yeah, I made some money off of it. Woo woo. Uh, but would I really be a long-term holder of Doge? Not really. There's no way you couldn't pay me enough to be a long-term holder. But like I said, you know, they each is own. Maybe I just don't see it. That's just personally me. Um, That's another thing about myself is as I'm, you know, investing on all these different coins and trading and stuff like that. It's just such a nice feeling just to come back, check the portfolio. And you can see your portfolio is doing really nice, really nice. And now it's like, you know, I'm trying to keep tabs of different coins that i want just to have the portfolio like i said man i'm I'm here i'm i'm all about the money making the money man the more money i have the more i could have that working constantly like i said the financial freedom all that is it's it's coming it's coming man possibly in the it just could be by the end of this year could be by the end of this year Cause this job stuff, man. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I'm working nine to five job, but it's out. No, no, no. I can't do it. Can't do it. That's why you know your boy turned into the wolf. Cause I mean Tron, man. Tron is almost at five cents. Tron was at one cents, two cents, struggling for a minute. Not much movement. Look at the last day change up twenty percent. And there's some positions I'm hot that I had sold, and there's some other ones where I'm like, man, should just wait a little bit longer. But you live and you learn, man. That's that's what's one of the nice things about investing, trading. You live and you learn. Um, but like I said, right now, I, my main my main focus is just really collecting as much as I can, letting these coins collect interest daily um 
because what's also nice too, being able to separate the trading and the the savings account. Don't get it twisted. I'm still trying to trade and you know collect these you know hour daily little gains here. But now that I have you know coins in my vault, uh, and I refer to the vaults as you know offline wallets where you own your private keys and all that. Now I get bear gauge too. Where like, all right, so as far as trading goes, yes, I can trade it, make money off of it. But what comes in handy having these vaults is that since I have pretty much those different coins in that portfolio, uh, let's just say it does. We do start to drop. That's where stable coins come into play and having the experience of being in the market. It's going to give me another advantage of potentially having all these gains that I've earned um, from trading. Because like I said, I do try to always you know, pay myself, put them in these different vaults, savings accounts, interest accounts have that do the hard work and then really when the time comes because I, I think the time is going to come I don't know when but when we do start to go back maybe to a bear market it might not be long it might be long I don't know last one was about two years having the advantage of having some of these coins that have been collecting interest sitting and then being able to put them in stable coins wait for these bad boys like I said this is all Projected if it does happen, having all these bad boys and stable coins and then going back and rebuying them at a lower price that potential, that opportunity that's like I said, that may come, don't know when, but if it does come, I'll be way more prepared and have an opportunity to obviously just increase my accumulation of these coins. Because the way I'm looking at it, man, and you know, this, you know. My whole model is, you know, live off the crypto because, you know, it's better. As far as the ecosystem of how cryptocurrency works and obviously with the scarcity, some of these coins, you have enough and you'll be set. Like, you'll be set. Like, somehow these other people are have, have been buying at these ridiculously low prices. They're set, man. To a point where up or down, it don't matter. That's what's all said. Uh, getting to that point is uh, a major key for me and something that I can see myself doing. I don't know how long it's going to take me, but that that's that's why I constantly think about. Um, for the fact that, yo, man. APR. I, I feel like with all these different platforms, I could potentially earn up to about what, maybe sixty percent APR APY a year. On my money on my on my portfolio. Could you imagine? Let's go ahead and do some numbers. I'm gonna do some numbers. Say minimum vaults. My vaults. Uh, plural because I do have a couple. Let's just go ahead and say minimum. There's a hundred racks in there. Just a minimum of 100, 100. And you can 60% APR. You get 60, 60 bands a year. 60 bands are a year coming in in crypto, which that 60 bands could easily go up because it depends on when you got the interest. Uh, That's why I noticed as far as my Nexo, my Celsius platforms, the interest that I've earned, it's, it's when the market goes up, it's just like, man, the, the compound from that is just, it's remarkable because you might have earned interest about, what, 20 bucks worth about two months ago, but now it's like worth 80 bucks because of the market. Um... So in the self, it's like once you get to a like I said, 
for me, I have a minimum I want in there. And I think I think a minimum of 100 racks. I feel like that's solid. Again, I'm getting 60 bands a year, which obviously could compound. Uh, and I could just sit here and not do nothing. Just watch the market, collect, collect, collect. Because as some of these different coins, new coins that popped up in the top 100, I got to do some research, man, because, again, there's going to be some big winners. I mean, guys, Binance coins at $100. This thing was at like 30 bucks. 30 I remember when it fell from 30 they were like, oh, man, like it's down from 30 Oh, it's at 100 bucks. But, you know, that's a particular coin that, again, about these other coins, other exchanges that have their own coins, I'm pretty sure the potential for them is just the same. So I just feel like every day there's constant things to be done in the crypto space, at least for, for me personally, because, again, obviously I'm about making the money, but the projects, man, there's there's, there's a lot of projects. Um yeah, I know a lot of people say, you know, some of these projects won't last, but obviously some are going to last. And it's just like, ooh, hey, you pick the right ones. You get the right ones in your portfolio. You are set. But I'm kind of greedy. I like to. That's the thing I've learned from diversifying your portfolio is if you have your money everywhere and. Some of your big boys are not doing so well. Maybe your underdogs are doing well. You know, there's a lot of sleeper coins out there, sleeper picks that can bring you anywhere from like 10 to 100 percent. But those are the ones that, you know, hopefully are on the dollar because, again, uh, quantities like I'm like right now. Prime example, Doge. Doge is at seven cents, right? Imagine buying. Imagine people that bought Doge when it wasn't even close to being a penny. And they got all those amounts. So they're, they get to a certain amount. Like, let's just say Doge gets to a dollar. Oh, it's cooks. They'll be Doge millionaires at, at, at a dollar, which, you know, if it does hit a dollar, cool. If it, if it, yeah. I just can't be in Doge. But Tron, like, you know, Tron's at four cents. That could be a, another one that potentially gets to a dollar. You know, if you got. You got a, a lot of amount, a whole lot, a whole lot of drawing. Once it has a dollar, you could draw a million it. I'm looking at Hubie Token, $11, up 24%. Like, you know, it's a dollar right now. Could that be like Binance coin gets to 30 bucks? It, it could. But I'll say this before we go ahead and wrap up this episode. Uh, man, if you guys are not doing your research, not doing your due diligence, you'll be like those people that got caught up in that uh, Robin Hood fiasco, losing money and all that crazy wild nonsense. Uh, but do your research, folks. Don't just, because at the end of the day, investing is risky. It's risky. It's a risky business. It's a risky game. People do lose money. But, you know, what I always tell people, don't invest what you're willing to what you want to lose? It's that simple. But uh, the wolf of the wolf of crypto right now is going to go ahead and get on out of here. But I appreciate y'all tuning in, listening to the cast. Uh, you know, I am available on nine different platforms. I'm everywhere, basically. Anywhere where a podcast can be listened to. Uh, as far as the forecast, man, I mean, you know, I know I said last month was a uh, indicator to see you know where we potentially might go i'm looking at this month like whoa what is going to happen now say we're what nine days into february i'm like sheesh does bitcoin hit 50k this month or by the end of the month i mean i i, I feel it it might sure it might hit 50k tomorrow it might hit 50k this week you never know because Again, when we got these big institutions getting involved, it's a whole lot of money coming into the market, man. Um, you know, I'm I'm kind of curious to see how quickly we get to two trillion. Can we get to the two trillion market cap? 
sure we can, but the question is when. I'm going to go ahead and get on out here. Appreciate y'all listening to the cast. Now I'll wrap it up for this episode. Until the next episode, thanks for listening to, to the Crypto Millionaire Journey. This is your boy, The Wolf of Crypto. Peace out, y'all.